Hey guys, what's up? This is Gum, and welcome to Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5. This is a game that I am incredibly excited for because I loved Horizon Zero Dawn, and this, as, uh, as seen in the recap video, is a direct sequel to that. I did, you know, we, we get a lot of new IPs that don't get sequels for a very, very long time, so for this to have gotten a sequel pretty much immediately in the time span of gaming is incredible, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, and I'm, I'm ready to get into things. I'm gonna go through the menu real quick. Uh, also, as a disclaimer, I did receive a code for Horizon for or Horizon Zero Dawn. Didn't get a code for Horizon Forbidden West. I've been forgotten. It's okay. Uh, especially since I wouldn't have been able to play it on release anyways. My PlayStation 5 actually broke and I had to send it off for repair for PlayStation for a second time. Alrighty. So we're going to play Horizon Forbidden West on hard. That's the difficulty I played Zero Dawn on. And that was, I felt like it was a very solid experience. I didn't really have too many memorable, frustrating moments. So I think that's probably what I want to do. Um, we'll do, we'll, we'll put it on Explorer Assistance for now. And if I get like super lost, then maybe I'll turn it on Guided. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Silence is gonna fuck things up for everyone. God. <laughs> oh, lordy. All right. I want to ride the bird, the giant robot bird. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. 
Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. Aww. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. A dream about Gaia? I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Oh. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. No. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Oh, hello. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. <laughs> Good luck, man, dude. We're all right. We're on an adventure. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> well, I've just got a few focuses. A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Yeah, you could have just described it as, like, memories. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Did 
Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna have a tutorial by teaching somebody else. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. All right, I you know I pressed R three and nothing happened, but there. I guess it's enabled now. The stream should do the trick. These are also good. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, we'll definitely be turning off the pickup animation when we're like ten or twenty hours in the game. It'll it'll, it'll get old. Click, click, Ugh. berries. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, don't worry. Good idea. I'm addicted to to picking up as many things as I can. Salmon blight. <coughs> oh, this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. Yeah, I imagine this has to be... some kind of, like, nanomachine corrosion. Maybe very similar to... Those ruins. That's where we need to go. ...what the machines used in the past? But this is a little different, because it almost looks like it's transforming and making new plants. What are we after, exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. I don't know for these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Find anything good? A few supplies. Ooh. Noticed you're, uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I, um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. What kind of trouble made us lose all of our gear? We went through so much shit in Zero Dawn that knocked us all over the place, and we never once just suddenly lost all of our gear. But that's okay. I get it, we have to rebuild things from scratch. Well, it's not dangerous to, like, step on it, right? Oh, it is! Guess we'll have to swim around it. <coughs> that blight's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Hey, there are things growing. Oh my god, look at this bold motherfucker. <laughs> he just starts coughing me. Look, we, we can also just swim. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's so pretty down here. Square to dive. X to rise. Circle to, like, go really fast. A little dodge underwater, but it drains oxygen like crazy. Holy hell. It's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. We always were a good tracker. I'm sorry, were you talking while I was in the water? Because <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. Oh, we got some birds. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Uh, well, it looks like we're completely out of arrows. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Swipe up on the touchpad to reveal the full HUD and review your current quest objectives. Whoa. Neat. So yeah, Square's making me crouch. I don't, I don't remember if that was what it was in the last game. 
It probably was, considering R3 is uh, focus, L3 is sprint. Left bumper is weapon wheel. There's melee. Here's a heavy melee. Sweet. That obviously is aim. Okay. Dodge. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Yeah, I can do that. But hold on. <laughs> Getting some berries first. Well, yeah, that means something's been here, right? Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? Silence. I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. Yeah, good thing. All right. Thank you, dynamic dialogue, acknowledging that I just had already picked up the crafting item. But can't reach it from here. That's okay, I've got super jumping. Can't knock free. Oh. Just have to target the lock. That's not even that high up. <laughs> like, this is totally grabbable. But yes, sure. Hold R2 while aiming to draw the bow. At full draw, your bow is more accurate and does full damage. After you. Yeah, Chiam. We'll have to see how this game uses the PlayStation 5's trigger systems. Because the PlayStation 5 controllers have, uh... This thing where, like, they can kind of lock in place halfway down the pool. And some games use that to have different functionalities. We've only done Returnal so far, but that used it f differently. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the, uh, message I found, didn't say. I'll this looks like we'll- might be here. This looks like we'll slide down the hill, but I guess not. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. They were right about that. Yeah, and you know, what is this? Gold for one pepper. But as she said, she's not really a party person. Oh, car. This has lasted a long time. I don't know if a car would actually stand up to the weather like that. I wish I wish to go up. No, okay. Uh, well, I'll go this way. The blight's definitely creepy. It's got that, you know, that feeling of like blood. Well, either I have to find something over there, or I have to go this way down the river. Also, they just gave us arrows, so surely there's got to be a fight cup coming. Down this way. Uh, look at that perfectly squared off little arena, plus the grass they hide in. Mm. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. It's cute. It's like a weasel or like a prairie dog. Scan the machine. Optional. Nah, it's not optional. We're scanning this. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. Alright. Uh, it's got a resource container on the back. Some kind of weak spot on its tummy. It's got its eye. Let's see. The burrower. A common recon machine that emits a high-pitched sound to alert enemies and stun enemies. It can tunnel underground and resurface in unexpected locations. So you want me to shoot its eye? Slow time will aim and increase your accuracy. This is called concentration. <laughs> oh! 
That's fair. Another one's coming. Does it know about us? It does not know about us. Oh, I blew up the resource container on its back. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Kinda. Kind of. Short pulses from your focus highlight viable machine components and carcasses in the water around you. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Yeah, sounds like uh, life kind of moves on. Someone shot this machine too. Got it. Yeah, I mean, the only person we know of who would also go hunting for all this stuff was Silence. The Silence, I think, is distracted with, you know, the giant destroying thing. Yeah, found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Huh? Yeah, especially if we, like, fall and break ours. These things don't seem very strong, you know. I mean, they're like little bits of metal, but they probably could like bend and break really easily. <laughs> that one, the game wanted to teach me to crouch and I'm just like, dodge! Mm. Hello. Facility. Far Zenith. I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. Maybe they didn't. They want us to check in with them. Register as a visitor. You got it. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you, Doctor Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. <laughs> Looks like Eminem. <laughs> well, let's find a way in. Or or Mark Zuckerberg, if he cut his hair short. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. That makes sense. We did just find that focus in like a random ass location. Yeah, unfortunately for this place, uh oh my god. Well, the the bottom floor is clearly thoroughly grown up through. Should be able to pry this open. R two, pry open door. Who's lighting it's fires? Gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. What about the fires? Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Well, hopefully ahead, and we can talk to them. Ugh, what's that stench? Oh. Entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Okay, it was Acid. bandits. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Yeah, I guess. I was gonna look at the bodies. I say bandits, but these could have just been, you know, a normal little raiding party. Look, they were they were established here. We'll have to 
get used to how melee works in the future. I'm sure they're like this is serviceable. But it kind of like locks you in place a lot per animation. So I'm wondering if that'll change in the future. Because they said they'd enhance the melee by a lot. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. Yeah? What's up? It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. <laughs> I was just over here. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. What do we got here? Rucksack. Part of a machine. Could help fix the gears. A little supply cache. For making a bunch of items in the future. And then there's one more item over there. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. <laughs> I was about to say, do I, do I make it somewhere? Workbench. Crafting system. All right. Pull caster. An improved version of a, del a Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. Craft. And then later on, obviously, we'll obviously have other gear here. To make and or buff. There. Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. Alright, what button are we using for that? The pool caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Okay. Sure. Graded pattern. Uh, hold L2 and then tap triangle. Oh. And then I'll fire with R2. Whoops. No, 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 no. That worked better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Well, there's that over there. What's this thing for? This didn't turn up much. Better scan. Well, we got that item over there. <laughs> Varl! Data console. Standard holographic access point. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, Grapple point. Might be able to get up there. Oh, well, hold on. We'll check out this data console first. What's this? to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium where we'll unveil our plans. Okay. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Wow, that worked. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. 
Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Search the ancient ruins for a guy back up. <laughs> That's not my current goal, it's to help Farl. Use grab a point, get within range, to quickly tap X while the air. Well, no, so we parkour around. Sprint jump! Oh. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Who made this ladder, though? Because this had to be recent. Thanks. Is this the auditorium? It's got a lot of holographic lights. That's fun. So is this a ship that got launched into space? Humans, ah. Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. We did not have warp technology, right? The serious system. That was just that was just an exaggeration. There we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. Maybe. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? A little. Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. It maybe blew up. It could have survived, and maybe we just got, we were given Somewhere false information. That gave them a backup of Gaia for a colony? Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. The good news is, maybe it'll help us. I mentioned a data center. Does the data center here? 
Oh. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I hope Varl doesn't go like tribal on us. I still can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. The wilds have really grown over this place. Yeah, well clearly a lot of it was open. My focus might be able to help here. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. Why can I go up here? Yeah! Just a little chest? Show okay. Off. Oh, another chest. Nice. Not the biggest fan about the aim and then press triangle and then shoot. Feel like they could have accomplished it by just being like hold L and then triangle. But maybe at some point we'll have different items to go through. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm hoping that when I say tribal, oh, oh. The big thing that spit acid. Keep your guard up. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm just hoping that he doesn't, you know, we see something new and, it, and then he hears the propaganda and he gets pissed off and destroys the technology. Just, just don't be that guy, Varl. All right. We need up here. some open mindedness. <laughs> Oh, more of the burrs. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Stealth kill? Alright. We can do that. Moving off. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. Alright. Down to throw a rock. Oh shit, the other guy's scanning down here. Silent strike! Down Good job, Varl. The loot's mine, though. Oh, well, there's more. I guess we only got the two. On your lead. Shush, boy. Continue to scan in front of you.
Oh, another one. <laughs> He's just gonna walk over here. mention I noticed you have a new look these days <laughs> yeah I know didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you don't worry it's not permanent good <laughs> sorry what? the whiskers offend you anointed <laughs> yeah. it's made its way in here too that was rude looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight I couldn't escape I hope it didn't suffer long. That's kind of natural selection. I feel like this stuff spreads quickly in the sense that, like, maybe over the course of a day this happens. But yeah, this thing, like, probably, this fox probably just stood in this and went, I don't feel too good. Blech. <coughs> oh, some of the blight is... Peeling off. Like dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. That's a one lovely observation you can make, I guess, yeah. Swimming! In this very, very small pond. Maybe there's some Osram still alive. This is, you know, that that's fine. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Yeah, maybe even got inside and hid away. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Oh. Small health potion. This for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Health potions take time to drink, but refill your health instantly and can overheal past your max health. Cool. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. Ow, oh, let's see. Last trap. Do I just sneak up on them? Approach them carefully and hold triangle. You got it. Okay. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself Dismantled up. it. And got more supplies. Hopefully she doesn't say that every time we dismantle something. Dismantled it! And got supplies. Like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Ooh, that looks fancy up there. Handy against machines. Good idea. Open your hunter's kit. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osirum shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. Gather blast pace. Does that mean there's gonna be other types of monsters here? I, I say monsters, exist. but I mean machines. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. There. Explosive trap made. Cool. If anything walks into one of those. Over here, hey boy. I think I see a way up. You're not interested in the giant glowing data pad here? What is this? Guess it's nothing for now. Yeah. Machines ahead. Well, those are new. They spotted us. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. It's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. 
Yeah, I can do that. Oops. Arl, maybe you should back away from it. An agile scavenger often seen in packs, it can swiftly consume torn off machine parts, close in to bite enemies, or hurl shock attacks from afar. Fun. Key upgrade resource. Component is viable for upgrading weapons or outfits. Scrounger spark coil. So if I shoot its butt, if I shoot its little butt, I can get very valuable loot. Okay. I mean, she's like super heavily looking this way, but he's he's not gonna pursue. So I'm guessing this guy doesn't have. Oh no, he dies to solid strike. Clear. Let's keep going then. The only problem I have with the silent strike is it seems to destroy the resource. Are they all like this? They all have their secrets, but every place is different. Ridgewood! Ooh, supply chest. Ancient chimes. How do I get up there? Uh, over here? Ooh. I like the the focus being able to highlight climbable surfaces like that. That's a big storm picking oh, up. Oh, pleasant! Is this another room that we're gonna get information from? Getting stronger and more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that. Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Ancient ring, iron ingot. Who's just storing ingot in their fucking office? What's in here? Aloy, come check this out. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. What is this thing? It's data. You can scan it with your focus. Hmm. Let's see. This data mentions huh. the tech that forms the of trade with Zero Dawn. I'll tuck this away to study later. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Zero Dawn trade agreement. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded, and I am exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at a mutually profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt, in contrast to the less tactful recommendations of certain of our more reactionary members. Huh? To the less tactful recommendations of certain of our more reactionary members. Weird. In short, Far Zenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive already sent, 
500 ectogenic chambers to be retrieved from storage at our Nima facility. Supplementary ectogenesis research reports. In exchange, Far Zenith will receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to Odyssey's launch. By our estimates of Zero Dawn's timeline, by then it should be a near complete repository of human knowledge. It should be known that Dr. Sobek was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand making it clear that this was a non-negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Sobek's team. Yeah, I think that's fair to have wanted to, like, get the Apollo information before launching off into space. What else do you want from me? The game's just like, hey, keep scanning, but there's nothing to scan here. So, are there only 39 data points in this game? That doesn't seem right. Okay, so there are way more data points. But there's only maybe... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So twenty, thirty, four, forty-nine. Forty-nine text data points based on quests. Then what does it mean? By, I guess maybe it's just this region. Looks like we've got to climb up. Yeah, I can do that. We're looking down here real quick. We'll go ahead and deploy this in case one of us falls. I was just, that was the area we were just in. Nice. Now let's climb. Ooh. Oh, jeez. You okay? Yeah. Can Guess I? We won't be going that way. Aw, oh, man. All right, well, hold on. I could climb up here, maybe. Falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. And overgrown by a lot of aggressive plant life. That doesn't sound good. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe we have to, like, go through the meeting first. Maybe that thing at the table does something. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. Oh, well, there you go. As well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades Protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I 
wasn't born. I was made by a machine. She just said grown by a it's machine. Why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? One made by people. The backup is like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. Ah, uh, Varl. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? I'll cut him some slack. He is, you know, basically a post-apocalypse tribe member just being introduced to all this stuff. Oh my lord. Look at that. Ugh. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Yeah, give me a second, man. I'm looking around the room, see if there's anything I can. Those Osram must have left this behind. We can't help them, but it can help us. So many holographic things and no scan points. What do we I got think here? This is better off in your hands. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. What is it? Obtained Frost Blastling. Blastlings launch bombs that affect large areas. This weapon fires frost bombs. Use them against enemies to build up the brittle state. While in the brittle state, enemies are more vulnerable to impact damage. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We're slowly building up our arsenal. We'll see if we end up being at the level that we were in the last game, or, you know, obviously probably yeah, yeah. even more advanced. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Direction we're going. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to fight a giant snake. I've got a feeling the giant we're not gonna be able to beat it when it attacks us. And we're Those machines. I could try a new weapon on it. Let's see. Uh okay, swap. I don't know where your weak points are! I'm just shooting you to the head! That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. These poor guys, they were so close to discovering something incredibly important that they would never have been able to truly understand. That this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. No. He was worse. Yeah. Looks like we can cross over here. What if I do this? Some of the yellow, obviously. 
Doesn't show up as well on top of the yellow surfaces, but it's okay. I wonder how much I can hold of this. I'm also wondering if there's going to end up being like a twist in this game, such as Ted Farrell is alive or God. Even even if they just make uh, like a Ted Farrell clone, uh, I don't need that in my life. Can you get out of the way, Varl? That works, I guess. Oh, oh, whoa. Let's try. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can make that. But I'm not 100%. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Yep, okay. I just need to jump from a different position. Wah! <laughs> they made so many paths around. You got that path, you got that path, you got the one that we came along on. Thanks for the options. Wait, that thing? Is that THE Odyssey? Or do they make like a second one? Huh. Varl, are you gonna get your ass over here? God, take him so long. Alright. We're all through. Machines tore right through them. These guys couldn't catch a break. <laughs> Hell no, they couldn't, dude. I'm surprised there were so many of them. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in a focus to keep track of them. Is there only three or two of them? I shouldn't loot the body right now. Oh, shit! Destroy the bag, man! Ow, I need it! No, oh, I blew it up! Okay, now how to get out of here. I have to learn the secrets of preserving their butts. What's in here? Their loot butts. Is this a glass floor? It's not. Let's get up here. I like how we walk past the Odyssey without really being able to like go into it. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not Machine going back to the right sacred lands? The wall. 
As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. <laughs> Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Supplies! I'm like kind of trying to keep an eye out for a way into that ship because that'd be sweet. Bob Vlogger, thank you for another tier one subscription. Oh, we gotta go up there. But hold up. Oh, get out of the way! Uh, nothing up here. Alright. Then we go up! This is a spacious area. Oh my. What the fuck's that? I mean, obviously it's the snake machine, but what is it eating? Oh, there's a bunch of them! Oh god! Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. Take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy. Trust me. And there she goes. You know, I'm the anointed. Just need to get over to the Whoops. That's really easy to fucking interrupt dialogue-wise. Okay. I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. Oh shit, he's coming this way. Alright, hold on, we've got... at least three... potentially four? No, it's an engine supply box. Yeah, it just seems really sad that, like, stealth killing these basic enemies is destroying their loot pouch of, like, their Maybe better resource. Alright, light me melee attacks are fast, you can detach armor plates for small machines. Fire attacks are strong, believe you're vulnerable while charging up. Like that, that makes sense. Oh wow, I killed it. <coughs> I've been sonic blasted! Oh my god, ow. <laughs> Just give me their big loot. Gosh. around here? Doesn't seem like it. So let me, are we getting any XP right now? Oh shoot, look at all this. Warrior, trapper, hunter, survivor, infiltrator, machine master. Can I look at any of these right now? I can. Huh. Outfit boost, weave boost, power shots, bolster your resolve and deal more damage for a certain number of shots with bows, bolt pe uh, bolt blasters, rope casters, and spike throwers. Okay. There's going to be a lot for us to go through. Holy hell. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower. I'm gonna need to craft some arrows soon. Oh, 
Oh, up there. There's a rail up there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. What rail? You have this, and then you have a spot right above it. High enough. I better try this again. Oh, tap circle before reaching a grapple point to launch into the air. Got it. Oh, that's gonna be an interesting one. Obviously, we'll memorize it as we go through the game. Let's. Uh, You know, button combinations to remember while I scavenge around the world. Alright, do I drop down from up here? Oh, no, we keep climbing up. Hey. Oh. Supply box. Hopefully this doesn't pull a, uh... Pull a fast one on us and just get rid of all of our inventory after this. I can definitely see something going wrong. Obviously separating us from Varl and sending us off on the rest of our mission. Because we, we, we have to go to the Forbidden West. Yep. Great. Although I'm sure one could have done it all by itself. Uh. Maybe I should jump off at the end. Oh shit! It broke. Uh. Well, where to go but up? God. This place is barely holding together. Yeah. <laughs> barely able to support the weight of. One medium build woman with an armor. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. Oh, but there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Alright, gotta find some control panels. Maybe there's one over here? Nope. And there's obviously gonna be some machine action here. Ooh! That was such a big slide! Oops! Machines in my way. Weak versus fire. Weak versus wind and ice. Is that all you guys got? Oh shit. You can hear me from that far away when I sprint? That's actually crazy. Oh man, what was that sound? I guess you'll have to go all the way around to figure it out. No. You don't have to scan. You need to go look with your eye. Alright, you little turd. Kills. Oh shit, there's a third one. Possibly a fourth one as well. Ooh. 
Hmm. Nah. This patrol path doesn't take him over here. Just the three of them? That works for me. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. We can certainly fucking hope. That didn't work. Oh, wait. And the machines are just gonna sit to there. The tower to find a way to disconnect them. The snakes are just like, well, that was kind of inconvenient. Now, how to get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here. Tag target. Oh, that thing. Yeah, while the three giant machines just sit there and stare at the shuttle like, you think it's gonna fall, guys? Nah, we'll be all right. Just keep eating the other this piece of metal. Uh, this way, I think, yeah. It's working out for us too. This does get us closer to our destination. Not Varl though, he'll have to walk a good distance. Okay, fine, I'll go this way. Wait! Oh! <laughs> Almost missed this supply chest. It's all three down. Mostly. Two of them are blown up. The other one just seems knocked out. That sank into the ground weird. Take this thing down to get to the data center. 
Yeah, sure, we can do that. All right, target part. Slitherfang, an enormous fast combat machine that can lash out from a long range. Once it is, once it assumes a cold stance, it has access to its full arsenal as its rotating body parts snap into place. That sounds bad. What's the loot from this? Volatile sludge. Slitherfang Earth Grinder. Obtained by detaching this component with tear damage. I see. Alright! Shoot the giant glowing sack! Oh shit! I need arrows! I need arrows! Ah. Critical strike. Uh, another critical strike. There. The canisters are exposed now. I should aim for them. Canisters? Those? Or that. Oh, shit. Hold up. We gotta freeze you up a little bit. Oh, that's not gonna work, I don't think. He's eating my rock. Ooh. He's it's destroyed all of my rocks. You've put me in a conundrum, Snake Slither Fang. Whoa, ow, that's all right, that's all right. We have dodged it. I need some better arrows, holy shit. All right, craft arrows. Is he gonna run? Don't you dare. I want to defeat you. Oh, it's pulling out its tail! Damn it, it broke free! I gotta take this thing down fast! A trap, maybe? Frost ammo? Frost ammo. I mean, yeah, I've got this. The problem is, that's not really a lot. We're gonna have to throw like 30 bombs or something. Okay, maybe an exaggeration. We're working on it. Oh, I didn't craft. That's way more damage. Alrighty. Finally. Hey, we got a skill point up. Hell yeah. You've earned your first skill point. Skill points are gained by leveling up and completing quests and activities. Choose a skill tree and tap X to open it. 
All right, so warriors, melee weapons, trappers, trapping stuff, obviously. Hunters for bows, bolt casters, survivings for healing, and other weapon techniques like blast things and shredder gauntlets. That sounds interesting. Animal traders for stealth, machine masters, obviously, for controlling machines and shit. Interesting. So I'll probably go for this. Increase your concentration limit, prolonging use. Like, that's a solid first one to get. That was definitely one of the problems we were having in that battle. Fucking... Our concentration kept running out real fast. This is a passive boost that can be recognized by its circular shape. Skills in this category provide a constant increase to your basic capabilities. Learning passive boosts multiple times increases the benefits. Outfits and weaves can also improve the benefits. Cool. So our next two upgrades are that, and then there's this. This is a Valor Surge. Learn all three connected skills to automatically unlock it. Equip a Valor Surge to use it. Valor Surges are powerful special abilities that require a buildup of Valor to use. Earn Valor through various actions in combat, like removing components, targeting weak points, and defeating enemies. Each skill tree offers different Valor Surges that provide unique advantages. Cool. That sort of literally means just like, get this, or I guess maybe get this and this? Or these, Weapon Stamina Plus, Valor Search Master. Yeah, I think those are the two things they have to get, which obviously still means we have to get this. High Volley, Fire, High Arcing Volley of Arrows to rain down your enemies? Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Spread Blast, fires eight bolts of your currently selected type in a wide, short range spread. Jesus, okay. Medicinal berries provide more healing and heal you faster. Automatically recover health sooner when in the critical state. Fire an explosive bomb that becomes more powerful with each bounce, up to a num maximum number of three bounces. Eh, okay. Launch three shards of your current selected type. Burst dodge. Lob a burst of bombs in front of you while, you autom while automatically dodging backwards. That's intriguing. Yeah, we'll have to go through this tree and like really figure out what kind of path. Well, most of what I'll care about will probably be under Hunter, Survivor, and maybe Infiltrator. Maybe I can... Deal more tear damage while in stealth. Ooh. Yeah, we're about to go, like, Skyrim fucking assassin bows here. Maybe. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess we're all gonna have to find another way there. Hey, look, at least you won't have to be dealing with giant snake monsters along the way. Alright, how do we get out of here? Ooh. Oh! One of its weapons! <laughs> Too bad we didn't get a chance to use this during that battle. Maybe I have to use this on a wall? Oh, no, it's just a grapple point. Alright. Look at this, this perfectly undamaged door entrance. I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. That's assuming a lot. But is it still there? I hope so. I really don't want to be hunting Gaia the entire game. I'd rather find Gaia than have a different objective to okay. do. I should find the server room. Like repair her other systems, fix up the other AI. I'm surprised this place isn't infested with more, like, growth, but I guess the metal did a really good job of holding this place down. Close. I have to be. Hmm. 
data. What to do about Dalgard? Uh, what to do about Dalgard? On the master, Mr. Dalgard. He's been a valuable member of Far Zenith for years. Even Peter saw the need for a polished spokesman to preserve the anonymity for the rest of us. But with all the new members we recruited to increase funds for the Odyssey's expedited timeline, there are simply not enough berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made, and let's face it, Oswald lacks the skill set for our future aims. He'll retaliate if we exclude him, of course, so we'll have to give him a proper send-off. But that doesn't mean his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate a digital puppet, giving us a means to- Oh my god. <laughs> they fucking kill their spokesperson and make a digital copy? Here. Hell yeah. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Uh, Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A far as in the conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Ah, oh, Travis. Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Thou shalt not steal super advanced terraforming system. Come on, dude. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. Damn it, man. Ugh. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. Uh, well, I guess we are going on a long adventure to find Gaia. I got it. For a I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farrell. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. Yeah, but he's kind he of... gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's kind of a dick. Gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Mirad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. 
actually... I've got a better idea. <laughs> the point of the lance. Hi everybody, sorry for skipping out on the party. an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, have we doubled our problems? Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but... Uh... We're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. built a statue of me in the meanwhile? Thanks, I guess. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Yeah, Hades, what are you up to? We already know Hades escaped away in a different body. Uh, is that a statue of me? That's... No. Examine. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It is really cool. It's wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Hey, you know, it's alright. We're a hero getting honored by things. I should probably look at this fucking thing first, but they've, they've saddled the area with all these. Carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. Things for me to search through. I'm surprised these are here. It's been at least half a year. Overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. I'm surprised after half a year they left all that here. Honoring those who fell in the battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. And we must remember them all, even if I, I, I don't remember them all. It's the sentiment that counts. For some reason, some things to climb around. Use R to move the camera to look for another grappling point. Tap O without touching either stick to jump backwards from a hanging position. Oh. Well, all right. Moderate valuables cash. Cool. I'm assuming most of these are just things I can sell. I await your findings, champion. All right. Well, let's see what this is about. Bad feeling about this. Eighties. Looks the same as before. He's still in there. I could pull this thing out of the. I'm 
transmission. Ah, shit. Yeah, I guess he, it wouldn't let us use that anymore. He couldn't. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. <laughs> All the way up top? Okay, then. Sure. can jump to that ledge behind me. Now, this is definitely a game I'm going to have to beat within a relative amount of time. Otherwise, this is going to be so many times I come and I'm like, why can't I do anything? All right, I have to jump backwards with a different button to jump than the jump button. Is this something that can open? I'm gonna cross over to the spire. But should be able to get up there now. Oh. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Is he's a well, if I can figure out where he sent it. I can track him down. He's an information he insane douche. The top will tell me. Huh? Looks like this panel's a jar. Can I go up through the inside? Ah, oh, this way. Okay. Why does it need to be opened up like that for maintenance? There's the note. Yeah, let's find out where Hades went. Oh my god, silence. You read the lance to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those guy backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. <laughs> the difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, Art. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. I mean, at least he's inviting us. Yeah. <sighs> no other choice. Oh, 
This island is too, like... What, not lawful neutral? Better let Varl and Murad know what I found. Or would it be chaotic neutral? I don't, I don't know. Lawful evil? Hey guys, I, I gotta go. You went inside it, and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said... Under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. Hi, King. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. it. Vinasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? <laughs> Ooh, what is this? A little helmet piece? Try it on. That's beautiful. Me? On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. I love the look of their little armor. All these angular pieces. I'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come Perhaps. speak to me when you're ready to depart. Unfortunately, unlike Aloy, it's actually been uh, a lot longer to learn more about characters in the past. The master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. All right, you can toggle the visibility of Aloy's headpieces in the general section of the settings menu. <laughs> they get it, you know. Sometimes you want your character's full face to be visible. You don't want something slapped on it. But I'm, I'm fine with this. Uh, all right, so they. We got a notebook, character bios, gives us a chance to like read up a little bit on it. Uh, obviously, we know about Silence. Little truly is known about Silence, a wandering scholar, sage, and warrior. Though he's rumored to have come from, come of age among the Northern Bunnock tribes. His past is a series. Oh Jesus! <sighs> uh, his past is a series of whispers, misdirections, and enigmas, all of which he encourages. As long as he can stay unseen in the shadows, he can freely pursue his obsession, learning everything he can about the origins of man and machine. Silence was the first person to find a working focus. With it, he discovered Hades, a rogue AI. And together, they forged a bargain. It would give him knowledge. In return, he would give it followers. This arrangement led to the formation of the Eclipse, Karja rebels who believed Hades would help them retake their holy city of Meridian. Later, Hades reneged on the deal and tried to have Silence killed. Not long after, Silence learned that the rogue AI had ordered Aloy's death as well. Intrigued as to why Hades would want to kill a Nora outcast, Silence tapped into her focus and learned of her connection to the ancient world. Knowing she was the key to uncovering the deep secrets of the past, he joined forces with her, aiding her as she learned the truth about her origins. Seeking to make amends for his role in Hades' rise, he gave Aloy the lance she used to purge the AI during the Battle of the Alight. But after that, he disappeared, no longer answering when she tried to contact him with her focus. Yeah, and said he fucked off to the West. And then we've got everybody else. 
Carja spy Vinasha met Aloy while she was working undercover behind enemy lines in Sunfall, the Shadow Carja capital. Thanks to Aloy's assistance, Vinasha was able to return the hostage Dowager Quinn Nasadi and her son Prince Edamin to the safety of Meridian. Since then, she's been in charge of protecting them both, sometimes as a personal bodyguard and occasionally as Edamin's nanny. Uthid. Once a loyal captain of the dissident Shadow Court, Karja, Uthid soon discovered and exposed the corruption of its ruling priests and generals. In return, they put a price on his head. With help from Aloy, he was able to defeat his would-be assassins and escape to Meridian, which he later defended during the Battle of the Light. He now serves as Sun King of Odd as a senior military advisor. Fun. And then what about, uh, there's Ross, who is Aloy's father. Or, well, Aloy's adoptive father. Unfortunately, he passed away. I'm glad they tell us about her. And there's Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, and it gives us a lot of info on her. Holy hell. And then there's Ted Pharaoh. Using a secret backdoor to the Zero Dawn system called Omega Clearance, he purged Apollo, the subordinate function responsible for educating future generations. He also murdered the Alpha Project leads, who contributed to Zero Dawn's construction. Along with a few chosen companions, he sealed himself within a secret bunker called Thebes, allowing himself to live out the rest of his life in comfort, as the world outside ceased to be a little bastard. I wonder if we'll find out more. I'm about dead Pharaoh throughout all this. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Uh, tell me about the years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. But you've managed to, you know, convince them. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakhs like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. <laughs> like a little Edom in the background. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? Uh, no. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. 
Martin has been held ever since. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. I love how crazy Aloy's hair is. It just keeps moving all the time. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me, but I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Well, I mean, you know, by the time that happens, hopefully the world will be a drastically easier place to navigate. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. Uh-huh. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? She could visit. Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. <laughs> nice try, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose the fist and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose brain and Aloy will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Choose heart and Aloy will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions. I I like I like compassion and, 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 and logic. We'll do this. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. This mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I, I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Thanks, King. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. You know, I get it, Avat. I get it. <laughs> I don't think I can leave beyond here. Oh. Savior, yeah. welcome back to the Alliance. The statue seems to be coming along nicely. It's not done. Looks done. It was quite a fuss getting everyone out here to meet you. You have a problem with that? Next time you drop by, could you send a messenger first so we can prepare? Ah, uh, I don't have messengers, okay? The Sun King certainly was eager to see you. Yeah, of course. The royal family has a busy schedule today. Alright, we're here to, we gotta talk to our buddies. I'll be right here until you need me. So are you okay? What the Huh. Huh. What's going on? Why are there floating? Why are there floating dishes? 
Where's my Osura, buddy? Is he even alive? I actually generally don't remember. I'm sure he has to be. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Yeah. Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, Champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, Champion! <laughs> More like the Thunderjaws need to watch out for me. Well, maybe not currently. I'm kind of incredibly under-equipped at the moment. Alright, uh, well... Nobody else to talk to in the main square, so I guess I will go fix up my spear. Unless... There, the workbench. Hey, you two! Luthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. And they're teasing a little bit. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And <laughs> how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. <laughs> I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, you were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, well, I, I gotta go deal with the spear thing. Well, I, I know, I know you're out. Go away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure there'll be a lot to talk to you guys about after this adventure. All right, Spear Upgrade installs the Master Override in a new module to enable the buildup and release of kinetic energy in combat. Requires the Resonator Blast skill to use. Uh, 
Master Override installed. Plus, something new. To store up and release energy. A... Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. I like the sound of it. Meridian owes you a debt it can never repay, Savior. That's that's okay. You you don't have to repay me. Just stay alive. That's that's my payment. Stay alive. Be happy. Oh wait, there's something back here. Investigation thing of another machine. It's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. And it's like super buried for some reason in comparison to the other machines. They should take some tech from it, not, you know, the smartest bits of it. That'd be a bad idea. Well, that's what you're doing back here. The savior of Meridian. How do? I do good. I do well. They're still debating what the plaque on your statue is saying. Any suggestions? Ah, you guys can figure that out. Ain't in the mood for chatter. Sorry. It's okay. I'm meant to be leaving anyways. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? I'm gonna go. There's no one else to talk to. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Wow, Aloy not just gonna go camping out in the woods? Sleep well, Varl. His neck's gonna hurt in the morning. Or are we just leaving and... Oh! Oh, Aloy! Oh, Aloy! Okay, that's a dick move. Just gonna leave Varl behind. And you guys don't want him to get hurt. Thunderjaws. There was no actual reason for her to go up there. They just wanted to show that area off again. Oh, 
Yeah, in terms of like recognizable paths, he's probably all over the fucking map. You know, before we head off to a whole new land. I want to ride a Thunderjaw. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I want to ride a Thunderjaw and a bird. One of these giant birds, Stormhawks. Title card! Yeah! Horizon Forbidden West, TM. Sparks to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, uh, busy. I can deal with them. But I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Aloy's causing some very fucking unnecessary problems. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is. They're not native to the Daunt. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it! Ah! So I have to help him to get the embassy going? Good. Well, I mean, I guess that's a good thing that we're here early. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? What is... That's Aloy. Studious Vardis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian. Really? <laughs> well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon. 
proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. Yeah, you got it. Not a moment sooner. I can clear it out. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Shut up, Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Dorf, <laughs> would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Alright, I guess we've got this whole little, uh... This area to go through first. Before it opens up to... The rest of this map, Jesus. You know, I thought we were going to go a lot further before... The rest of the map... But uh, I guess not. We're, we're, we're already at our starting point. All right. Well, first off, let us, we got a skill point. Let me look at these real quick. I don't really super need these, but like, obviously I want them as well. Toughened. Consume a special po potion to restore health and gain resistance to status effects. Medicine capacity. Valor on impact. Gain valor when hit by enemies. Overshield. Activate a special arm guard based on ancient technology to gain a rechargeable damage absorbing energy shield. Shield also recharges when depleted if that valor is still available. That's intriguing. So I think we can only have one valor surge equipped at a time. And it's interesting that they've turned something that was like an end game upgrade in the first game into a special ability. I guess they consider, <laughs> I guess they just end up considering it too powerful. Yeah, I guess this tree is just kind of all right. We'll go, we'll go for another couple of Upgrades here. Recover concentration faster. More concentration. And then we get this high volley one. There we go. This is a weapon technique and can be recognized by its pentagonal shape. Skills in this category unlock a powerful new attack for all weapons in their class. Weapon techniques use up stamina, weapon stamina, which regenerates over time. Yeah, the first thing I want to go for is this. I want to see what this is like. Valor surging, but we'll see. I gotta find Erend, but it might be good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Swipe up to reveal the full head and review your quest objectives. So we can go to Chain Scrape or we can go to Aaron's last location. Going to Chain Scrape will apparently give me upgrades first. But what is closer, Aaron or Chain Scrape? Chain Scrape's closer. Alright, then Chain Scrape! To Chain Scrape we go! Unknown Charger Site. Unknown Campfire. Unknown Fire Fang Horde Site. These don't sound like they're unknown if I know about them. <laughs> 